Egan Art House, a facility that really for many years has been operated out of a 1,200 square foot house. The growth of our art program and artists across the, the, the city and region has really created a demand for so much more. And while we've tried to use some of our other satellite facilities to help meet that demand, really the time is now to create a, a specialized art facility that will help uh, meet that demand. We've been here for over 25 years, operating as a, a center for art education. We see thousands of people every single year, all ages, taking classes, learning new things, making new friends, finding their creative voice, gaining confidence. So it's a really important part of our community. We merged with, with the City Park and Recreation Department. Before that time, the Egan Art House was a nonprofit organization. I started about 20 years ago. In those days, it was the Dakota Center for the Arts. It was a nonprofit organization that rented the art house from the city for a dollar a year. In the, the main house where it used to be living room bedrooms, um, originally it was all kinds of classes, painting classes, kids classes, kids camps, different, different media, and then the garage where we're sitting. The garage has been the pottery studio. Since that time, we started off with four wheels. Now we have um, eight plus wheels, which is how much we can fit in the space. It is a Rambler house. There's only so much room in this space. We use every square inch in this building, behind the doors, above the cabinets, on the floor, underneath tables. We use every square inch we have. Accessibility is also a huge challenge here. There is really not a great way for people with mobility challenges to easily get into the pottery studio space. That is a, a pretty serious consideration too as we go into this new building is to make making sure that we are accessible, physically accessible for everyone too. The art house even though it's a specialized kind of facility, there's still something creative that can touch just about everybody. We just aren't meeting the demand that's out there right now. Uh, there's not a lot of those facilities out there to, to uh, provide these programs. And so we have waiting lists for just about every opportunity that is provided in the art house. It all comes down to the community, right? and people meeting up with friends and doing things that keeps them active and thriving.